What's up guys, good morning. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, it's Monday right now at the time of my filming this video. And I wanna walk you guys through my fall cleanup setup. Um, just so some of y'all putting these trailers and stuff together or trying to get ideas um, of how to kind of go about doing leaf removal uh, can get a little bit of an idea of how um, I'm working everything um, as far as leaf removal equipment. I'm using a 2013 F350 Power Stroke Diesel. Um, this pulls any trailer as well as I possibly can think it would. In the bed of the truck for the blowers, I have my VR700 backpack blower and Little Wonder 13 horsepower uh, self-propelled push blower. Now for the trailer this year, because last year I had a smaller trailer. Um, I had a, I believe it was a six by 10. This is a seven by 14. It's made by Big Tex. It's a 14 LX, so it's a seven foot wide by 14 foot long trailer. Um, none of these wood sides come on the trailer. That's all stuff that I added on. So I first added these 2x12s here, these two 2x12s, so they stay on year round for everything, just a little more room to store stuff out of. Um, and then the sides, I built those, I cut 2x4s to height, um, so that way, this is 4 feet of plywood here, so it's a, in total it's about an 8 foot tall box, um, maybe just shy of it. And then I cut two by fours to meet at the bottom of the ply or the bottom of the um, the plywood, and then um, come up to the top here. And then I have plywood running across because each of these have another one on the corresponding side of the trailer. Um, and this whole box measures um, about eight feet tall, so it's a seven by fourteen by eight. It holds just under 30 cubic yards of leaves. Um, I think to the top of the box from the ground, it's about 11 feet tall, thereabouts. Um, and then as you can see on the back here, I have my leaf vacuum. This is a Billy Goat DL1801VE. Um, this has done absolutely fantastic for me this year. Um, my last one I had last year blew up, so this is the one I found and purchased this year. I bought it used. Um, not normally a fan of used stuff, but I got a really good deal on this and I couldn't pass it up. It's a year and a half old, pay about $2,000 for it. So, um, only used half a season and then a full leaf season. So it's done absolutely fantastic for me um, as far as sucking leaves up. And the reason I have this hung off of the back versus put on the front, like I see a lot of you guys, is because it's so much nicer to be able to back up to fence gates and just suck out rather than having to tarp them all out from the road. Uh, especially if it's just a single gate at the end of the driveway, per se, I can just back right up to that and suck them up. How I constructed the back door is another sheet of plywood I cut to length to fit widthwise. It's four feet long, so it matches up with the side plywood. Um, I took four heavy duty hinges across the front. There is a two by four on the back side of this plywood to help support this. Um, cut a hole out for the exhaust tube. That's actually an eight inch uh, piece of stove pipe. I ratchet strapped to that. I need to figure out some good way to secure that because there is a pretty large gap. The end of the thing ends here, so there's about a foot it has to travel. So that's why that stove pipe is there. And then on the bottom side of the door, I just have an 8x10 mesh tarp uh, screwed in to the back side just to keep stuff from flying back out and it kind of gives me a visual to see how full the trailer is. This side is the same. Now I also added some LED spotlights um, for vacuuming at night, which there are two in the back. There's one up at the top there and then one up there at the front. Uh, they are all hooked into a wire that hooks into the vacuum battery and then um, 
doors swing open, you dump the trailer, and it does fantastic. And then up top, I've got a, I believe it's an 8 by 16 mesh tarp screwed into the top. Um, just because this tarp doesn't need to come off. So I screwed it in place so I won't have to worry about taking it off. And so the, this trailer has been absolutely fantastic for me this year. It's allowed me to fit more in the trailer at one time, which is awesome compared to my last setup. Um, and it, which means less trips to the dump, which is less time. Um, you're not spent working, you're spending driving. Um, you can, with less money spent, it costs $30 to dump this here locally where I am at my mulch yard. They just charge. Um, by tight like if it's a pickup bed it's a certain price if it's a trailer it's a certain price no matter how long the trailer is um, but this has been absolutely fantastic for me I love the fact that the vacuum I was able to hang off the back to save tarping which saves a bunch of time and as you guys know time is money so that's my setup um, and the reasons why I did a couple things I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.